it's huge in here. I don't know if my camera can do it justice, how big this place is. I'm right inside the tower, which is what you're seeing right now in the drone shot. This place is absolutely massive. Jeez. Now this is more like it. Architecture is just amazing. Every room is just ridiculous. I mean, look at the carvings on this one. And you have the giant sunroof right there too. I really appreciate the architecture here in Portugal. It's not like anything I've seen. Oh, there's a safe. I wonder if it opens. What's up today, Roman fam, and welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited to be dropping this video today because it is part of the Portugal series, and if you have not been following the series, go and watch it right over here. I already uploaded one video from Portugal, and it was an absolute banger, just like this one that you're gonna be watching today. Now, this place is absolutely incredible, probably the favorite explorer in Portugal. Now this place is known to be the Palace of the Patriarchs. It was once a summer resident home for the Patriarchs of Lisbon. But it goes further than that. Its true origins lie with Count Bernay, one of the richest persons in Portugal, who renovated during the 17th century, having started in 1701 and ended in 1734. It took a while to build. The palace has since undergone changes and restoration works in the 19th century, and more recently in the 1940s. In recent years, the palace is currently the seat of the rectory services and social actions of the Technical University of Lisbon. Basically, the University of Lisbon is trying to do something with it. They've even renovated a part of it to be like a school, but they don't even use it until now. So I don't really know what's going on with that. It's very sad. It still has yet to see a glimpse of hope as it lays forgotten in time with only explorers coming to see what remains. So that's the summary of the place, guys. Before the adventure begins, I want y'all to smash a like button and enjoy the video. I'll see y'all at the end. I'm right inside the tower, which is what you're seeing right now in the drone shot. I just feel like relaxing here a little bit because it took a while to get up here. This place is absolutely massive and I think you guys will enjoy it so much. Well, take a look at this incredible view of the bridge. It kind of reminds me of the San Francisco Bridge. Now, this leads up even further I really don't think there's anything up there. And the thing is, <laughs> this whole stairway is falling apart. You can even see the cracks, especially starting from all the way up there. So I don't really want to risk it at all. This looks completely unsafe. You haven't seen it yet, but there's this amazing stairway and we're right on top of it at the moment. And this is what's holding the chandelier. You probably saw a little teaser in the beginning of the video of it. So yeah, we're going to be heading down there very soon. It's a bright sunny day. <laughs> you can't even see the outside right now. But yeah, here's a good view of the back side. Let's head down. Oh, this is a little bit shaky too. I've been hearing like this weird noise. Like a door opening. Hello? Let's go check it out. Hello? Oh, sh It's this door. It's just the wind blowing in. Just an ordinary attic. Oh, wow, they had 
sunlights. You can see how it's being used right here. Can't wait to check out how they look like from the next floor. There's some more sunlights right here. Before we do, I can see that there's another opening right here that leads to a balcony. I think it's from the back side. We're pretty much safe on this corner. No one can really see us and this whole side is abandoned. But you can see how big it is. Got a huge backyard. Right over there. We'll work on this side first, head down, and then go over there to check it out. Dragon? It's like the mouth got destroyed. Now, I'm not sure why there's some ropes on the floor here. Well, I just want to mention we're now able to see the sunroof in all its glory. So gorgeous. I love the stained glass and the artwork that they use on it. It's probably my favorite hallway so far. Looks like we have a room here. A lot of it looks like they could have been offices. Nothing too crazy. I mean, you got some computers still left behind. For the most part, I'm really looking for the best rooms with amazing architecture. I mean, this is amazing too. Jeez. I guess these could have been like for mail or files they kept here. Oh wow, the ceiling pretty much collapsed here, but you can see some of the old foundation. That's probably the original foundation up there. All right, hmm, I think we still have to go down this way. I think we got the Portuguese flag here. I'm starting to think that there could have been a fire right here. This part looks burnt. And now that I think of it, that dragon statue looked pretty burnt too. This is all black as well. Could be the paint. be hidden like this. Nothing unusual. Pretty normal looking bathroom. I 
really appreciate the architecture here in Portugal. It's not like anything I've seen. It's so detailed. And every single room is going to be like this. It's always going to differentiate itself from the, from the others. This is the next room. This is supposed to be some sort of library. There's a plaque right here. Biblioteca. Caro da Mata. I need a little bit of a translation here. But I think it's talking about like how it used to be a school. Maybe. Looks like there's some paper here too. Hmm. Just some magazines. What is it boring are the murals here on the ceiling. They're all different. <laughs> so beautiful. It's getting a little dark now. This hallway has some carvings on it that are just unbelievable. Let's be sure to check out every room, which means we have to check out this corner over here. Oh, there's a safe. I wonder if it opens. I don't think anyone's cracked the code yet. Is there a certain way to check there's stuff inside? Like if it's hollow or not? I bet there definitely is things left in here still. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think is in here. Yeah, so it looks like it's all carved into the wall. Some is wallpaper too. Actually no, all of it is carved in. Sometimes it's hard to tell between the wallpaper and carving if it's done so well, you know what I mean? Because there's some wallpaper that just looks 3D. But yeah, it looks like it's carving up like these angels surrounded by flowers. Let's take a look at that painting over there though at the end of the hall. Pretty neat. Looks like a painting of a garden. I think it's like a tapestry. Here's a closer look. We still have more gorgeous rooms to go. This is not even the best one yet. Now you might be wondering why are there like numbers on certain things? But I guess they're taking this place apart. Probably taking all the furnishings and I mean, Whatever was down here on the ground is gone too. They took out the carpet. But I think this place has been left like this for a very long time. They haven't done any renovation at all for many years already. Whoa. Guess this is another office. get outside from here. I think we'll be seen if we go out there. I'd rather do it later when I see most of everything. But I know this door right here, if anything bad happens, it can be an escape route. Oh, that nice breeze feels good. 
earlier, right next to the school building. But we still have to check out the main stairway first. That is the highlight of this place. That's what everyone comes here to see. Just imagine coming here and seeing the view from this place. There must have been a fountain right here too before. You could just imagine seeing people walk, a beautiful garden, people having fun, or even the family that used to live here. Gosh, I can only imagine how life was it for them. It's just the upside down. <laughs> Stranger Things reference, guys. Speaking of Stranger Things, you know, I've never watched it until two weeks ago and I finished it and it's probably one of the best shows ever. Highly recommend you guys watch it if you haven't seen it, but I think everyone has seen it. But if you haven't, go and watch it now. It totally blew my breath away. Is it, you guys? I can see it, the main stair right up ahead. You know the deal, guys. If you've been enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let me know down in the comments where you're from and who's watching. I would love to know you guys even more. All right, I need to make a stop here too. Every room is just ridiculous. I mean, look at the carvings on this one. And you have the giant sunroof right there too. I don't think I caught that upstairs. But here we go. It's huge in here. I don't know if my camera can do it justice, how big this place is. Oh my gosh, that's the craziest chandelier I've ever seen. It's massive. No wonder it's being hung by like an elevator device. If you guys remember upstairs, we saw the wiring for it. I pointed it out. Well, it comes right through here. Oh no. No, guys, what? This can't be. Who the, f who the heck? It's literally gonna cuss for the first time in ages, but who did this? This was never here at all. For all the years this place has been abandoned, there's never been graffiti in here at all. Oh my God, there's more tags. This is crazy. How can someone, how can anyone want to graffiti a place like this? Seriously. If anyone's from Portugal and is an explorer, let me know down in the comments who could have done this and I'll pin the comment. I can't believe anyone would disrespect history like that. That just pisses me off. This place has been on my bucket list for the first time since I ever explored, which was six years ago. I've always wanted to come here. I've always seen the photos. And I can't believe I get to see it with graffiti. I mean, it's still absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, but wow. This makes me want to clean it. I wonder if there's a way to remove graffiti. This really did ruin my mood. I wanted to show you the best of this place in all its glory. But now with the main part with the graffiti, it just takes that away a little bit. But maybe there's a reason why I'm here today filming and documenting this place. 
maybe we can do a little bit of help if anyone or everyone watching can share this video on Facebook, on social media, and talk about the graffiti. I think we can, you know, make this well known and for them to take care of it and to erase the graffiti. I think if word spreads, you know, it can be a two-edged sword. Word can spread and there can be bad people. But I think there's more good people than bad. And if all of us combine, make this known in a good way, in a positive way, I think we can help to restore this. Maybe if I find anything online, like a website, I'll even post it in the description. Really want this to be cleaned and restored again. So that's the entrance right there to the building. And I'll give you guys a perspective of how it looked like when you entered. So you're just walking and boom. It just hits you, the beauty of it all. Well, mission accomplished. I got the photos that I wanted. I'm gonna have to do a lot of Photoshop though. Uh, we still have to explore the left side of the building. I believe that's where the auditorium is. And we can head out from there to check out the, the school, which is more modern than this part of the building. I'm overall happy. At least I get the chance to be here. This is what I was talking about. This is all wallpaper, it's not even carved. But it just looks like it because it's so 3D. I guess you can say it's very, very good wallpaper. But there's some carvings up top, just a few. ceiling. This must have been a garden, like a botanical garden at one point. It just felt like I entered a different world. Wow, that gate looks so sick. It's not really a gate, but you know what I mean. That just looks freaking cool. Straight out, of a, straight out of a movie. Just made it to the auditorium. Seats don't look too shabby. They look pretty comfy. Like your typical movie theater or cinema seats. Oh gosh. They graffiti here too. Come on. At least, at least have good graffiti. What the heck, Guritiba. Oh, what a shame. But. <laughs> Another part of me thinks that, you know, it's inevitable for stuff like this to happen to abandoned places. You know, with social media, TikTok, all these videos that can go viral now when you post it on the internet. You know, if places, if the information is disclosed or being shown, people will come and find the place easily. That's why I kind of be, try to be vague about the history and stuff and not say exact dates or names. Oh, look at the premium seats upstairs. Probably had to pay more, right? But wow, the mural is also amazing. It's always about angels. Let's walk to the school. Just want to look down here really quick. And this was the driveway. Went around in a circle. Here we are, guys. This is where we came from. But yeah, didn't bother to check out the school first. 
I'm more interested in old architecture. Modern, it's just really boring to me. I mean, look at it. So plain and normal. No carving whatsoever. I feel like there was more passion put into architecture back in the day. Yeah, I can see how this was the school. Or what's gonna be a school. Looks like a school hallway. Just one big classroom. Such a shame they never did anything to this place. I feel like it can be restored. Let me know down in the comments if you think this place can be restored too. seats are really modern. They look way better. I'll give it that. Modern seats are the only thing that's better than the old ones. squares on the wall. They were meant for them. Urbex tag room. I gotta have these all over the world. I also wanna put my name on here. Maybe right over here. I don't mind tagging this, just chalk. Thank you so much guys for watching and making it to the very end. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Also, put on the notification button bells, guys. I've been reading some comments here and there that some of you have not been getting the notification. So just always remind yourself to check it once in a while and make sure it's on because I don't know why YouTube likes to mess around with things. This explore was absolutely incredible, not only because it was only me exploring it. Like I was exploring this place by myself and I rarely do that. I always recommend to explore with a friend because he never know what can go wrong, but I still felt very safe because I know the area and I know that it's a safe environment. It's, it's pretty much like a tourist attraction in the area that I was exploring in. So there was nothing really that can go wrong, but hey, you never know. Just, you know, always bring a friend with you and try not to do what I did by exploring alone. I don't really recommend it.
But other than that, it was such a fun exploration. It felt like a maze. I got lost here and there, but it was so cool and to check out each and every single room and show you guys the architecture inside because it's an absolute beauty. And this place has been on my bucket list for like six years now. This place is one of those classic explore places for urban exploration. I've seen this photo since like 2016 when I first started. So it's a very old place and it's, it sucks that there was graffiti when I went, you know, usually it's squeaky clean, but I hope this video can kind of give a little bit of exposure so that the place can be more protected and cleaned up. So yeah, don't forget to share the video and maybe we can make it happen. But thank you so much yet again and keep up with the series guys. There's still more videos that I'll be dropping from Portugal and France and hopefully other European countries before the summer ends. But until next time, don't forget to live a life of freedom wander and I'll see you on the next adventure. Peace and thanks for watching. Also, cop the hoodies. Peace.